Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about matching graphs with rational functions. So when we're looking at these two different functions, okay, and we want to match their graphs, we can see in the graphs that there are vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So that's going to be our first step, is to find vertical and horizontal asymptotes. And there are also, uh, most of them, y-intercepts and maybe even x-intercepts, right? So let's see how far those four things get us. All right, so for f of x, let's look at f of x first. The denominator x squared, x squared minus x minus 6 cannot equal 0. So that factors into x minus 3 times x plus 2. So that means our vertical asymptotes are going to be at x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Where does that happen? x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Well, that happens at graph B and C and D and that looks like that's it. So those are our three options so far. Um, our horizontal asymptote, well, the degree of the top, n, is less than the degree of the bottom, m, because the degree of the top is 1 and the degree of the bottom is 2. So that means y equals 0 is our horizontal asymptote, and that actually happens on all of them. So that wasn't super helpful either. Okay, but what is the y-intercept? of f of x. Remember the y-intercept happens where x equals 0, so that's going to be at 2 times 0 minus 2 over 0 squared minus 0 minus 6, which is going to happen at negative 2 over negative 6, so the y-intercept is going to be at 0, 3. Which function looks like it has a y-intercept at 0, and it's not 3. 2 over 6 is 1 third. I was thinking there's not any of the choices that we had that are um, at 0, 3. It's about 0, 1 third. Well, that looks like only b. So f of x is graph b. Now let's look at h of x. h of x, the denominator, can't equal 0, right? This is how we find our vertical asymptotes. So that's x minus 2 times x plus 1. So neither of those can equal 0. So my vertical asymptotes plural, are at x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So which graphs have vertical asymptotes at x equal 2 and x equals negative 1? A, E, and F. Okay, so we knew it wasn't going to be B, C, or D because that had different vertical asymptotes, but let's continue. Um, a, E, and F, E has a different horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is the same as the last one. n is less than m, so that means y equals 0 is our horizontal asymptote. So that means it's not going to be e. So we got crossed one off with that. And what about the y-intercept? Well, if I find the y-intercept, if it's positive, it'll be graph a, and if it's negative, it'll be graph e. So the y-intercept happens whenever x is 0. So that's 7 over 0 squared minus 0 minus 2. So this is going to equal 7 over negative 2, which is a negative number. So which graph are we? We are graph f for h of x. That's matching graphs.